everyone this is me Satya here and I'm doing your third week of January reading start from the 15th through the 21st of January 2021 this is going to be for the sign of Taurus let's see what is coming up for you guys for this week time uh, I will be adding oracle cards in this reading but no charms will be added so stay tuned and uh, while I shuffle the cards let me remind you it's a general reading it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the messages which are resonating or leave the rest for personal readings you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So, yep, let's see what is happening for you guys for this week time, which has already started. Let's begin. Taurus. Star. Wow. Beautiful energy to start off the week with. Um, you are feeling divinely protected and guided towards the right path forward to have your wishes fulfilled life for sure. You are feeling very protected and guided right now. You feel like, you know, whatever you want, whatever you desire is easy and effortlessly coming towards you. You don't have to do much of the effort. Uh, you have done all that you needed to done and uh, to, to be done. And uh, now you, you are on the receiving end of uh, all that you want. So it's this very positive energy to have or to start the, uh, you know, week with. Let's see more cards here. Six of Swords. Yep. You believe the rough patch, the rough phase of your life is over. Now you are in the right uh, direction, moving forward towards abundant lifestyle. Um, it's, it's for majority of you, maybe you have achieved a few goals in your life and now you know that your life is all set. Your life is all, you know, abundant. You have done the hard work. You have earned the lifestyle that you wanted to have. You have earned the right kind of people uh you know and situations and now all you just need to do is enjoy your life for some of you you might have uh, recently uh got done with some responsibilities as well that you had on your shoulder which is definitely making you feel so relaxed and so happy you feel like you know now you don't need to do anything you just need to relax you just need to have fun do the things that makes you feel good for some of you you might be traveling to see your uh, specific someone for others of you you might be uh, traveling with that specific someone to another country state and uh, you know just to enjoy your time to have a vacation off from the worldly pressures because you have done a lot of work there um, and now you want to have some free time for yourself to enjoy your life that could be the case for some of you and you're feeling very blessed and abundant in each and every way then we do have the knight of swords <clears throat> The hair font and seven of wands. I, I do see you looking back at times when you were struggling, when you were juggling, when you had a lot of, uh, uh, you know, responsibilities. You are done with all of it. You are so relaxed. You're so relaxed. You know, especially around you, you know, for some of you, you might be, uh, you know, planning to, to, um, hold on. Wow, you might be planning to reach out to your person uh, and you have been heavily thinking about that one person. And now uh, when you reach out to this person, you want to get married to this person. You want to commit to this person. You want to get engaged to this person. You want to have this person as your life partner. Nothing less than that. This person is something that you have been putting on hold, you know, uh, for so many years, maybe for some of you, for so many months, maybe for some of you. But yes. Now, since you are free, now, since you are out of, uh, you know, that zone where you had to do a lot of other things and you were too focused or too were, you were too um, occupied with other things happening in your life. Now, since you are free from all of that, now you know that all that you need to do is to pursue your love, to pursue your specific someone. Uh, and you are going to be reaching out to that one, one person. For some of you, the energies could be exactly reversed. Now, your person is free and they are going to be reaching out to you with the marriage proposal, commitment or engagement, or they would come forward to offer you to travel with them and uh, maybe to have a honeymoon or something. If you are already married or even if you are not, maybe you are planning to travel together to have some good time together. And I feel like, you know, this time is not going to last, uh, you know, for a month time or a two month time. It's going to last forever. It's not going to be short lived happiness. It's going to be lifetime happiness is what I'm picking up with two of cups and the four of wands. It's something that you both want. It's something that you both desire now. Uh, you have been and done with the rough patch of your life you are now in that abundant mindset abundant lifestyle where you 
all you know all that you want is in abundance so i do see that you know abundance is happening for you in each and every area of your life you have done the hard work you have earned the how you know the best lifestyle and now the only thing that is missing in your life is your love life and now you're going to be reaching out to a specific someone to propose them or to have them in your life to offer them to be a part of your life for sure let's take two more cards here let's see what else is happening for you for this week time uh king of wands pair of with ten of wands and wow yep you will be reaching the divine masculine is going to reach out to the divine feminine because they have been investing their time and energy into their work career goals passionately and once they are done with it they want a new beginning with the divine feminine so yeah let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading for you guys for this uh week time let's see what it says wow beautiful energies are definitely coming ahead for you don't let the pride in your uh, pride get in your way um and then we do have the communication is the key i feel like you know uh for some of you maybe you would feel like you know um be that a cross watcher or be that the one uh who is going to be you know uh, approaching the person don't let the pride get in the way for some of you maybe there is or there would be some sort of difference between the two of you in terms of uh, financial you know differences maybe either one of you is financially so strong the other one is not in that situation if if you feel that maybe you know it's not gonna work out maybe maybe you're gonna hold yourself back uh don't let that kind of a thing uh you know get in uh, get in between the two of you now for some of you since the uh, you know this person here the divine masculine had uh you know stayed busy with their work responsibilities earning themselves a lot of money maybe now when the divine masculine reaches the divine feminine maybe the divine feminine is going to you know show some tantrums around it like you know don't let that happen don't let your ego uh in the way for, for the two of you because i do see a blessed new beginning happening for you so just forget the past leave the past and start anew with a positive mindset around it communication is going to be the key here so make sure you have open and honest communication with your person before you start anew together so yeah let's see some cards from this deck as well let's see what it has to add to the reading for you guys let's see okay we do have two cards here heart to heart conversation again make sure you you talk your heart out to this person then we do have you need yourself right now i feel like you know in the past you always needed yourself only and you never gave time to this person that you were dealing with and now since you are done it's, it's it was never like you know you didn't want this person in your life you never wanted this you know the person in, of your interest in your life it was just that you had a lot of uh, responsibilities on your shoulder that you wanted to get done with before you could have this beautiful beginning with the one that you love so again maybe maybe the person that you are dealing with might tell you you always uh, were selfish around you know what you want what you need and now you are back because now you need me and stuff like that maybe that is going to happen for some of you as well maybe you are going to have a tough luck uh having a reconciliation with your past person but yeah work on your addictions you you really have to work on your addictions you really have to bring some balance in your life make sure that next time you you stay you know come together with this person make sure you don't uh get too obsessed with your work and your career goals that you start ignoring the same person again because this is not gonna work then because i feel like you know it had you know if this person is giving you a chance make sure that you don't uh let them down don't don't do that make sure you have a um balanced lifestyle after after you reconcile with this one person from the past for sure so value yourself and move on i feel like you know the person that you were dealing with they have already moved on for some of you uh because they valued themselves it doesn't mean that they moved on to another relationship for some of you maybe they had but for others of you they have just cut ties with you because you were not giving them the value that they believe they deserve not just they believe that yes they did because you 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 might have been a workaholic so they they chose to leave you behind thinking that when and if you are ready you will come back and i do see that you're doing exactly that thing july to december could be very significant for you regarding your connection with your specific someone and maybe you will be uh you know trying your luck uh from now onwards and uh, maybe from july to december you will be getting married to this person it could be that as well for some of you maybe they would accept your marriage proposal around that time as well or maybe you would be tra traveling with your person or going on honeymoon with your person around that time then we do have perform rituals to speed up uh whatever it is that is delaying in your life right now try to perform rituals to make it work quick for you so yeah this promise it coming up for you for this week time if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that 
on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye bye